Hi guys, today we're going to take a look at these things and the pros and cons of wearing racing boots versus just plain old socks. So as you are here, you have probably already encountered a debate or two on what the perfect footwear is for sim racing. Now, I don't really prescribe to that. I don't think there is a perfect solution for your feet. There are solutions that have a bunch of compromises and those compromises you'll have to weigh up yourself. So I've, I've taken the liberty of going through a few pros and cons for wearing socks versus racing boots. And then I make a conclusion for myself but that doesn't mean that you have to go the same route. You might have a different set of criteria, but at least you've got those pros and cons to kind of help you make that judgment yourself. So first off, let's look at the trusty sock. Its greatest pro for us is that it practically costs us nothing, as we likely already have some around the house. It has utility purpose, so it is used for multiple different things and sim racing could be one of those things. It feels great on the pedals. You have virtually nothing between you and those pedals, so you have a very strong connection. You really get a good feel for what's going on with your vehicle and how you're affecting it. However, that also leads to a con in that sim pedals can be pretty damn hard on your feet. They're not necessarily designed for comfort. And that goes the same for pedal base plates. They're just not made for comfort. They're hard metal and they can be very cold. Another big con to wearing socks is that you wear them out pretty quickly on the harsh surfaces that uh, are in a sim cockpit. Now that might be something you're not too worried about socks are cheap but it still means that you're having to refresh your supply uh, quite frequently from a personal account i have found that the fluff and dust that your socks pick up from you know walking around your house really can have an impact on how much debris kind of collects around your cockpit so you end up having to dust and hoover and uh, clean your pedals, especially if you have um, pent-based pedals on a more frequent basis. Definite con. No one wants to be cleaning when they could be racing. So now we've covered the pros and cons of socks. Let's move on to racing boots. So let's go through the positives first. You have padded soles and heels that make your life a little bit more enjoyable when you're racing. So whether that's endurance or sprint, you have a lot more comfort. You're not feeling those hard metal surfaces against your naked skin or near naked skin. You feel a little bit more like a racer. Now this is just really aesthetics, but come on, it's all about immersion. Racing specific shoes have quite thin soles, so you don't lose quite as much feeling as say your day-to-day -day shoes, but you still lose that little bit. That's where we move on to cons. These boots are slightly heavier than, you know, just wearing socks or bare feet. So you do have that additional learning curve to that heavy foot and that slightly reduced feel have now, this can be mitigated a little bit through pedal adjustments. Maybe you can stiffen your pedals a little bit more and that, that helps offset that um, change. But not all pedals are adjustable and it still has that learning curve. So it is a definite con. The shoe itself, the insulation it provides, that makes your feet warm and perhaps a little sweaty. So after a while, Yes, you, you've got the comfort from not having your feet against bare metal, but you've lost some of that breathability and that can make you feel uncomfortable 
and it can definitely stink up your rut environment. Now, one big con for these is that they're not free. Socks you probably have around and you definitely have your bare feet, but racing boots you probably don't have. And whilst you're likely to get something like a karting boot that doesn't necessarily have to have FIA standards approved, and so it doesn't cost as much, it's still a cost. So we're going to count that. And you're not going to be wearing them for much else. Maybe a track day, maybe a karting session, but you're not going to be wearing them around the house. Maybe you are, but that's unlikely. You've now heard what I feel are the pros and cons of socks and shoes, uh, specifically racing boots. So what was my conclusion? Well, uh, for me personally, the boots have helped me with the pedals I own. So I have, if you've not seen the videos previously, the Usink Veld Ultimates, and they're quite stiff, especially on the, the brake pedal. And their um, faces are a little on the sharp side. So I've got double um, skin socks, which help a little, but it's still a little too harsh, a bit too abrasive on my feet. So I swapped to using karting boots for that very reason. Now, that was only one of the pros that I provided in the, um, the roundup, but it, it still quite a big point for me at least. So you have to consider that when you are buying pedals. So if you've got say a G29 and you wanted to buy yourself some sprint pedals, think that you might also want to buy yourself some form of protection for your feet. It might not matter quite so much in a sprint race, but it definitely is a problem for me in longer races. I hope you found this video useful and if you have please like and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't then please let me know why in the comments because it's very useful for me to find out what content you find engaging and if there are any things I can do to improve. For reference the boots I've been using today are the Sparco K runs. I find them really quite good. They're fairly cost effective and they come in a number of colour options. So with that said, it's goodbye from me. Until next time.